Hi everyone, welcome to our school holiday dinosaur art box tutorial video. Let's get started! So, here are some material that you need to prepare for the painting and clay making later. First, start with designing your dinosaur island by sketching some mountain and trees as you like. And you can start to paint when you are satisfied with your sketch. Remember, this is only for your reference, you can always draw and paint with your own ideas. So, I will be going through here a bit faster. After you are done painting, leave it aside to dry and we are ready to make our dinosaur. The first dinosaur we are making is Brachiosaurus. We are making a purple one here and start with warming up the clay a bit in your hand and spread it slowly on the wood base. Remember to leave this space blank to let it stand on the base later. A little amount of clay would go a long way, so remember to work with not too much of clay at one time. You can always add on more if you think that's not enough of clay. It's okay that the clay is not perfectly smooth, it's just like the texture of the skin. Now, we will need a pair of ruler to make some wrinkles on the net. Let's move on to the next color to make some spots for the body. Remember to always keep the remaining clay back in the box to avoid it from getting dry out. Now we are going to use yellow to make some tiny balls as the nail on the leg. Now, get your black and white color clay and we are going to make an eye for the dinosaur. Remember, only a little bit of clay is enough for here. Get some black and roll it into a long snake, cut a short one with the ruler as the eyebrow. And for the remaining part, you can make it into a smiley face. Now we are going to cut up the base with green. And we are done with the first dinosaur. Continue to the next dinosaur T-Rex starting with drawing some outline with pencil. Repeat the same method to cover the surface with clay. 
This time, we will follow the guideline we have drawn just now. For some thin area, we can do snake rolling first to fit better. Now let's make some red spots for the T-Rex. Repeat the same method to make an eye for your T-Rex. And don't forget about the eyebrow and smiley face. For the leftover black clay, we are going to make it into two tiny ball as the nostril for the T-Rex. Now, let's make some sharp teeth for your dinosaur. Slowly roll it into a cylinder and pinch the end gently to create the sharp effect. Repeat the same technique with yellow clay to mix some sharp nails for your T-Rex. Now let's cover the standing base with dark brown. Next, let's create some animal bones as decoration. Remember always to be gentle while you're shaping the clay because it's really really soft. Now we are using the tip of the brush to make a loop as the eyes of the bone. And 
Yay! We are done with the second dinosaur. And lastly, we are going to make a pterosaurus. So first, start with drawing some outlines with a pencil. And now, just repeat the same thing as before to cover the surface with clay. For Pterosaurus, we are going to mix some tiny stripes on the head. And also, make an eye and eyebrow for your Pterosaurus. For making the nest, we are going to mix dark brown with beige to get light brown. Start by pressing a loop in the middle and gently shape it while turning it around to get a bow-like dinosaur nest. Now, get some white clay and we are going to make it into three equal parts. And now, slowly shape the egg one by one. By using snake rolling technique, create some thin lines, thin stripes for the eggs. And we are done with Pterosaurus. Lastly, we are going to make the volcano. Let's start with mixing the leftover clay to get enough volume for making the volcano. Remember to keep red, orange and yellow for making the lava later. Mix 
make sure you mix it really really well. Now let's cover up the cup with the clay. Next, for making the lava, mix some red and some orange together. Now, place the volcano into your dinosaur island. Gently glide the clay down to secure its position. Next, let's add on another layer of lava by mixing orange and yellow to create a better gradient. And finally, we are done! If there's any leftover clay, you can be creative to make some interesting decoration for your island with your own idea. I've made some flowers for my Bacasaurus. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye!